Alright, what's up guys? It's me again. I've been gone for a while. I haven't made a video in, a two week, in about two weeks or so, so I'm back again. I was going to make one on Sunday before the game, but then I was caught up. I had guests over, and then, yeah, didn't happen. And then same with the Giants game and the Tampa Bay game. Just didn't get around to it. I'm sorry. It was my bad. Won't happen again. So I won't bother going about the game recaps about the um, Giants game. We crushed them, sort of. Uh, we should have won by a lot more. The Tampa Bay game, same thing. Nick Foles played a heck of a game. Um, Shane Bick got injured for the um, in the Giants game, but yeah, it happened. It's football. All right, so this game played the Dallas Cowboys. Um, I actually predicted us to lose this by seven points or so, uh, more than seven, ten points. I think I lose ten points. Um, and ESPN had us winning by three. Um, I don't know how they got to that conclusion, but obviously, um, yeah. We lost by 14, 17 to 3. Nick Foles started at QB. Play, he played a terrible game right from the get go. Um, passes were dropped, um, missed bad timing. I think he blew it. Selleck was wide open on the left side on a corner route. Overthrew it. Riley Cooper, same thing. And then Deshaun Jackson. That was just good defense. Their, co their coverage was good. Credit to Dallas. Um, mm -hmm. They played a good game offensively. Um, yeah, our offensive line, they were, we were weak. And then, yeah, there was an end zone pass, and then the defensive back just threw it away. And then there was another time where Avant was wide open in the end zone. He ran like an out. And then he just, it was just low. Um, that, just, that just needs to be a better throw. Um, he, had to, he had time and just threw it, like, that way. I understand his groin hurt, but still. No excuses. And then we put Barkley in. Yeah, he threw two picks or something. One of them was reviewed. I called it. It was encroachment. Um, then we get the ball back. Still, same thing happens. We go down the field. Then eventually, in the end zone, we threw a pick. So it's like nothing went right on offense. We scored a field goal. And then I think we went for, we went for a 65-yarder before halftime. And yeah, it's fourth and one. I would have gone for it. Fourth and one. 65 yarder. I think it must have been something that he's seen him do to practice because it was wide by 10 or 15 yards to the left. Left if you're from their kicking angle. But yeah, so I don't know what Chip and the special teams coordinator thought when they were doing that, when they took that decision. But alright, pass to the pass. We got the loss. Fine. But Dallas, they offensively, for both teams, it was 3 nothing at halftime. It was like watching soccer, back and forth. Nothing happened. Three, I think it was 8. Eagles had 8 3 and outs in the first half. And Dallas had 7 and a field goal. Or no, field goal and a touchdown. No. Field and <laughs> a field goal. Um, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Defensively, they were, we were a lot... Defense took over, and then um, our defense was really good. Uh, of course, towards the end, it started to die down a bit. But that was because they're tired. They busted their butts off, and the offense didn't make use of that. So Penalty-wise, we were pretty good. Dallas had a lot of penalties. I think midway through the third, they had like 80 yards in penalties, and I think they missed a lot too. There were a lot of holding calls that weren't called, and then there were a lot of Add DPIs, I don't know, but holding was big. So we lose 17 to 3. I hope we start Vic on Sunday against the Giants. They won last night, so they're going to have more confidence than they did last time we played against them. Eli was flawless, which is scary. Um. Yeah, so they, they, I think Giants have been the only team, and the Cowboys now, that have really stopped McCoy in our run game. McCoy only got like 80 yards or something, if even that. Um, so yeah, we need to do a lot better. I don't know, the play calling was terrible, I thought. But this game, we need to go win this game, and then Dallas needs to lose their game at Detroit. So we'll be 4-4, four and four, hopefully, at the end of next week. 
Um, but yeah, I'll make a Giants preview later this week. Um, take notes from this game. Um, defense was really good. Special teams didn't do much at all. They got a field goal, that was it. And offense, you guys ter- were terrible. Draw passes, incomplete passes. We should have put Barkley in a lot earlier when we saw Foles was sluggish. He went for like, I think he went for 18. He went like 14 for 30 or something. Pass completion rate. Mm-hmm. And to go from like a standout week that he'd had against Tampa Bay to like this, it's not going to cut it. I hope Vic is better for next weekend's game. Next week's game, because Barkley I don't think is ready yet, and Foles is not doing well at all. And Vic, I think he's a lot more of a threat. He can run with the ball. He can fake hand it off, and he can pass deep. Foles didn't really have that. He ran for a couple of times, but only got like six yards or so. And he can pass far, but... He could tell, like, Barkley, his his throws were, like, a lot harder and a lot more on target. So, uh, yeah. I think Foles might be out of a job next year if he doesn't watch himself. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I thought about, um, but yeah, Eagles lose 70-3, to we fall 3-4, and four. we're second place in the Eastern Conference, at NFC East, but a lot more football left, nine more games left of the season, at least, so yeah, now we work hard and uh, evaluate what we did wrong this week, and yeah, go Eagles!